born Heather Sweet, she's now living under the name Dieter Von Tees. So whether you think the actress and burlesque artist is sweet or a bit of a tease, you won't forget meeting the delectable Dieter. Beware, there's a burlesque revival happening and it's bumping and grinding all the way to a cabaret venue near you. Dita Von Tees, the undisputed queen of burlesque, puts the tees back into striptease with long, elaborate, highly visual dance shows inspired by the 1930s and 1940s musicals and films. The message that I try to get to girls is that there's more than one standard of beauty and you don't just have to be rail thin and blonde and tan and, um, and wear a mini skirt and, and show a lot of skin to be, um, to be beautiful or, and appealing and sexy. There's other ways and, and the best, thing to, best, best way to find what that is for you is to think about what your best qualities are and play them up instead of trying to change yourself. Mac Cosmetics loves Dita's unconventional look and have asked other unlikely makeup models like Lisa Marie Presley to support their Viva Glam ad campaign. 100% of the sales goes to HIV. So I give you the man who is all at once my favorite Italian-American, more importantly, my friend, Mr. Robert De Niro. They say watching Robert De Niro work is like doing a master class in acting. He is considered one of the greatest actors of all time. His legendary performances in Taxi Driver, The Deer Hunter, Awakenings and Cape Fear have enriched American culture and each has won him an Oscar nomination. His two Academy Awards performances for Raging Bull and The Godfather Part II have made him an American cinematic icon. The secret of his success is method acting. He immerses himself in months of rigorous research and draws boldly from his own emotional depth. The shy actor recently received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. Not an easy thing to do for the notoriously modest and private De Niro, who prefers his work to do the talking for him. These days, the actor is balancing out his life with directing and producing. He recently directed The Good Shepherd, a pet project about counter-espionage in the CIA. And a streak of comic roles has delighted audiences with a whole new side to the master actor, like Paul Vitti in Analyze This and Analyze That, and Jack Burns in Meet the Parents. De Niro starred in and produced the hit comedies Meet the Parents and its sequel Meet the Fockers. After decades of portrayals marked by ferocious intensity and gravitas, De Niro's disarming sense of humour is an unexpected pleasure. Maybe for him too. <laughs>